Hello YouTube. So today was all about pharmacy. Well, I tried to make it all about pharmacy. There are a few products as you go along that you will see that are not pharmacy. And I tell you, and at the same time, when I am using the products, I am giving you prices and I am giving you how I feel about the product. So this is the look that I am going to be doing today, but seriously, like 90% of it is pharmacy products. So if you like what you see right here, then stay tuned. So when I created this video, I already had my brows done. So I forgot to talk about my brows. So basically for my brows, I used e.l.f. pomade in the color, um, I think it's like dark brown. N yes. No, espresso, sorry. So this is espresso. So then, um, so I outlined, right? I made the line with espresso and then I made the top, right? And I created like, um, like the inside needed to be filled almost like a coloring book, right? So what I did is I went in with um, this black gel eyeliner from Pharmacy. So basically, I don't like to use gel eyeliners for eyeliner. I just don't. I like to use the liquid. Um, sometimes I use a pen, like a, I, I think it's a called a pen, right? The liquid one, not, I don't like to use pencil. Pencil, I only use for my waterline. But gels, I've never really liked gels um for eyeliner so i was like okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use it for my eyebrows so that is exactly what i am using this for this is for my brows so what i did is i created that line and what i did is i got some of this and i filled in the middle and then i just bring it out so that's exactly what i did for um my eyebrows all right let's get started and we're gonna take things a little bit slower so I'm gonna be using Pharmacy's um, eyeshadow primer. Now I recommend that you use the eyeshadow primer then concealer. The reason being is that eyeshadow primer is thicker and it has this thickness to it that creates a barrier between your eyelid oils and your eyeshadow that you're gonna put on top of this. So it creates that barrier so that they both don't touch and they don't both like intermingle with each other because you know as it is, oil breaks down a whole bunch of stuff. So can you imagine what it does to your eyeshadow? So I'm putting it on and I love this stuff. For me, I don't necessarily have problems with oils on my lid, even though I am an oily person, right? I don't really have that problem. What I have a problem with is that concealer just doesn't work that well. It moves um, my eyeshadow around a lot or it creates like these wrinkles and texture that I don't want, especially when I'm doing a cut crease. So that's why I really like the eye primer better. So our eye primer is 1090. So I have two eyeshadow um, palettes from Pharmacy. One is vintage, no, sorry, not vintage. It's Vice Brown. And then I have the Ultimate Smoky, the ult Ultimate Smoky. So first we're gonna go in with Vice Brown. I'm gonna show you the palette and what color I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the middle color. So on a brush, and I have a blending brush, I'm going to take it to my eye right here in the crease. And I'm just gonna work the color right there. Once you have the color is when you're going to start blending upwards. And you're going to bring the color in a little bit. Not so much, just like probably like right here. And you're just going to blend, blend, blend. All right, next we're going to be using the Ultimate Smoking. And I'm going to be using all three colors. So first we're going to go in with the middle color, which is black. 
uh, I'm gonna be grabbing the um, e.l.f. eye crease brush. And I'm just gonna pack it right here. Next, I'm gonna be grabbing another brush. I'm trying to keep it right there, right? Next, I'm gonna be grabbing another brush and I'm gonna be grabbing that grayish color and packing it right here. Then on like a little applicator, I use this. You can grab another brush if you want to. And I'm gonna be grabbing that shimmery white. So now I see that there's a difference. This one this one looks more spaced out so what I need to do is I need to bring in that gray I want there to be some type of similarity not so much I know you're not gonna get everything exact but I want there to, I want it to look kind of similar so even if I have to bring in that black that is fine with me so I'm just packing that gray on closer and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring in this black. Go in with that top brown color, that's whatever is remaining on my brush. And then there we go. So the eyeshadow palettes are $21.90. So next I'm going to be grabbing the pharmacy um, eyeliner. And this one is $7.90. Um, and this is my first time using this liner because I still have some of e.l.f. So I usually like to use all my products and I did a wing and I didn't even do a wing on this side for talking. All right, I'm gonna have to create a wing on the other side. All right. Um, so yeah, this is my first time using this. And um, not Vice. I've already had Vice and I've already done um, Vice before. So Vice was nothing new to me. I actually really like Vice. The colors that, the browns that are in Vice, they're really nice. Um, but I'm not a neutral person. So I would have really loved, and I heard that they are. So that's the good news is they are coming out with bigger palettes and there should be more color into those palettes, which is really good because I'm not a really a neutral person as it is but I really want to try their eyeshadows. I really want to see how they felt and if they were even blendable. And you guys already see that they are blendable. Where, it, and you know, there's not fallout. There was no fallout. Um, so that's what I think. Um, as far as the Ultimate Smoky, this was my first time using it. And I really like the gray. I really, really, really like the gray. The black, it's okay. It's okay. It's I've I've had better from Jaclyn Hills palette, um, volume two. Um, that black is 
for me it's everything um but that whole palette is everything to me anyways um so the black is okay like it's it's doable um but the white shimmer i would have wanted it to be a little bit more like not so subtle i think this is like a like a subtle look you know what i mean and i'm not a subtle person but for people that love the subtle look like i just did like then this stuff is really for you i'm creating this just for you so let's continue so next i'm gonna be using their 3d mascara and it is 11.90 So I'm going to be trying to use everything pharmacy, right? But there are certain things that right now I can't use. Um, I mean, there are certain things that I don't have that are not pharmacy. So I'm going, that's why I'm going and I'm telling you exactly what I'm using so that you know. Because right now pharmacy doesn't have any lashes. They will be getting eyelashes um, either October. October and November and they're going to be coming out with glue as well with the lashes so I'm going to be using eyelashes from um, Sonia Beauty um, right now she currently does not have anything available as far as lashes as far as anything so I purchased these. These are called Beast. And these were her most dramatic lashes that she ha um, had. And for me, um, I've known Sonia for a while. And I purchased um, for support. So right now I'm putting glue on my lashes. The duo the green one and then I don't wait for them to um, dry I just place them right on my eye all right next I'm gonna be using the VFX um, pro primer and this is 1290 So I'm gonna put some on my hand and this is what it looks like. Now I already made a video comparing it to um, MAC primer. And you can go and check that video out. I also, I put the primer and the foundations. I compared both from Pharmacy and MAC. So that video is already out. Um, I'll try and put it in the description. So if you want to go check that video out and see the difference between the primer from MAC to the primer from pharmacy will be there so so I'm gonna be mixing two foundations together um, because this one is not my color it's the cream foundation it is 1290 um, it's not my color and I really love it so I'm going to be mixing two foundations together so this one is 04 I need 05 but I want to show you like, so look at my skin right now, especially this side, cause I'm gonna apply on this side. So I'm going to grab some. I'm not gonna grab a whole lot because I don't want it. I don't want, it's like, I don't wanna be too light, you know? Just look at that. Like I didn't even go back for more and that's what I'm saying like I really need to and you really need to get 05 so I'm gonna do the other side just put some up here and let me grab just a little bit more for up here 
I don't want to put too much until I get my color. All right, so that was the foundation. This is my favorite. Yes. So then I'm gonna be going in with the VFX foundation because this is my color. And I'm gonna be placing this on top and mixing it in with my other foundation that I just placed on my face. And I just did one um, pump of foundation. And this, um, this color is truffle. I don't know what um, number it is. All right, so this is my first time I've never opened this. This is the liquid found, not the liquid foundation. This is the liquid concealer. And this is supposed to be like pure beige or it's called something like that. So I'm going to place some right here. The same thing. I'm not going to usually I do my um, chin. There's no point. <laughs> I, I need to stop doing that. Just for me, there's no point. So I'm going to blend this in now. And the concealer, the liquid concealer is 990. And I don't know if I said the price of the VFX foundation. The VFX is 24 something, but I always round. So it's $25. So this is really nice. It's blending really nice, not separating. So I don't think pharmacy has any loose powders just yet. Um, and they do have pressed powders, but I don't have any of their powders. So I'm going to be going in with Wet and Wild um, banana, banana powder. So I'm gonna put some into my bowl and then I'm going to press press in and then I'm going to be putting some down my nose and my forehead grabbing the rest whatever is left and putting it on my forehead <laughs> So this is something that I don't do often. It's a concealer stick. Um, I've never using, used it before as you can tell. And I totally forgot I already have set my face with uh, my powder, but I'm gonna go in and I'm still gonna try it out. So I'm gonna create the lines right here. because I really want to try this thing. So you guys are seeing it first. I've never tried this. All right, and then let's blend. The contour stick is $14.90. I think it works nicely. Oh yeah. 
I can definitely see the difference. I was a lot more whiter and now I can see myself coming together. All right, so next I'm gonna be using the three-in-one palette and it is bronzer, um, blush, and highlight. And it is $20. I'm going to be using the bronzer. I'm probably gonna be using this whole palette to be honest. I have another one here. No, I don't, it's not here. It's just all three of them are um, highlights. I also have that one and these and the the three-in-one highlight is also $20. So I don't have it at my table, so we'll just use the three-in-one contour palette. So I'm gonna be grabbing that. I know you guys can't really see my full head, but I always start with my peak and then I pull towards my hair. Ooh, that um, contour stick is bringing out the, the bronzer because usually I just use the bronzer, right? I'm just a bronzer person. I never really use, you know what I mean? I never really do like sticks or I never do liquid creams, you know what I mean, um, um, for my bronzer. I can definitely tell the difference. So that is really good. I like my bronzer to be a little dark, especially for camera ready makeup. Oh, somebody's room smells nice. My sister. And like their products smell really good. I'm smelling my sister's room, but these products smell really good. I start from my ear sorry I'm over here trying not to you know blind you guys from what I'm doing oh I'm itchy all right next I'm gonna go in with the blush and I'm just gonna be tapping it right here Tapping it right here. Yeah. All right, and then I'm gonna dust myself off. So I don't have a pencil, a black pencil from pharmacy, so I'm just using this one. It's just some pencil I, I just have. It's not even by a really known brand so we'll just call it anonymous and to be honest it doesn't even work that good anyways especially with drawing on your face it's a definite no it's a definite no so i'm going to go in with um that brown that we went in with I'm gonna add a little bit more on this side than the other, like this side. So you wanna put more on the outer, doing the same thing like you basically did to the top. All right, you guys, we're just doing the same thing, bringing the colors downwards. And then now I'm gonna grab that white color. And that's what I'm gonna do for my under eye. So now I'm gonna be going back in with 3D and doing the bottom of my lashes. 
all right you guys it's time to spray myself this is my first time using this i haven't used this i always use bd bd creations because i had two bottles of these um so this is my last bottle so there's not that much left in there but for the purpose of this video i'm going to get into this one and see how it smells if it's good this is 1090 it doesn't smell like, like anything this one does smell like something and it's not that great seriously when i first sprayed my face with bead creations i was like holy moly this one doesn't smell like anything which is really good i like when they don't really have fragrances because like what if you don't like that fragrance you know and you're putting it on your face i've gotten used to this one this one at first it was giving me a little bit of a headache but i had bought two bottles and i was like no you're gonna hold your nose and you're freaking gonna use it danielle so i'm used to it now but so no fragrance feels good so now we're gonna do highlights and i'm gonna be using the one from the three-in-one palette so let me get my brush my highlight brush. I love this brush. I love that it comes to a point. And sorry. Sorry, you guys. And then right there. And then. Creating that C motion. Isn't that beautiful look? And I am telling you, their highlighter palette is the same way, you guys. This palette for, I, I did a Facebook Live. This is my number one product. My number one. And like, this is has to be my second one, the um, foundation. I, I don't understand why girls are not talking about that cream foundation like that cream foundation is like everything to me don't get me wrong vfx is great too but that cream foundation so i'm doing a c motion all right you guys next and the final thing is lippy time so I'm going to show you the lippies that I do have from pharmacy. Wait, one of them is like the same. Like two of them are the same, I think. Oh no, I put that one away. So yeah, yeah, okay. So no, none of these are the same. So I think I'm gonna go in with Confident because it is a smoky and Confident is more like a purplish. It, um, it reminds me of Jeffree Star, um, what is it? Scorpio and I am gonna swatch the rest of them for you guys so the lippies are eleven ninety. yes i definitely this is approved all right so let me open up to that page where it has the lippy so i can tell you exactly what lippy i am swatching so obviously i told you guys this one was confident so number 205 is brave sorry you guys um my eyeballs you gotta feel sorry for me because i am losing a little bit of eyesight just a little bit like i can see right in front of me but little words so that one's brave next is moth pink I have the sticker on it still so this one's mauve pink some of them have stickers and some of them don't 
so that's why I have my book open. Mauve pink. All natural. All natural is the bottom one. And for me, I have tried all natural and I have to use me because I am darker. I have to use a lip liner. So just letting you know if you are a person of color that all natural, I had to use a liner, which is not a, not a problem, but I'm just letting you guys know. So the next one is 03 Nude Essence. And this is the one that I have double of. I have another one. nude essence and then the final one is 08 which is sunset breeze sunset breeze so those are the colors that I have these are the colors that we have when it comes to the liquid lipsticks these are the colors that we have i love that one that one pops huh so there you have it down below i will be putting my link if you want to browse and see what else we have because we definitely do have other things we have baby care we have skin care we have men's care we have home care. Um, we just launched some brushes and some beauty blenders. So there's like a whole bunch of stuff and the more stuff is coming. Like I said, lashes are coming. That big palette, that big palette. Oh my goodness. I'm definitely gonna get that palette. I am definitely gonna come here and create some looks with it. Like I said, this is the look that I did with the, vin um, I keep saying vintage, with the Vice Brown, I used it to settle the look and I use this ultimate smoky so there you guys have it I will be coming back next Thursday with something I don't know we shall see what happens we shall see what happens but thank you guys for watching if you like this video any questions about any of the products that I used just let me know and I will get back to you as soon as I can Thank you guys for watching.